Hey gang, welcome back, and we're hitting that property next to Echo Lodge. We're going to split our time between metal detecting and bottle digging, but first I'm going to give you a quick look around the property. The metal detecting was interesting. There was about a million pipes in the ground. They had some kind of central irrigation system that was a nightmare. So, let's get at it. Pretty strong high 20s signal. Kind of right here. I see it. I say that's a little silver coin. Looks like a rosy dime from a quick glance. That's spritzer. I think this is just gonna be a more modern rosy. Look at that 57. I'm sorry, 51. A little rosy dime out in the woods here. <laughs> It seems like under this this tree is an 1819. This thing? What kind of object is this? This is a this to me looks like a prehistoric sinker. Look at this. It's flat cast. It says five eighths. Five eighths of an ounce. Right here we have a solid 20. Oh snap! Look at that guy. Got a, <laughs> a big complete Barclay soldier. That's awesome. I love finding these toy soldiers. They're the Look coolest. Now I'm hitting this target. <laughs> right between the two trees. I guess that's justification for a small coil, huh? Oh, what's this? So, a nail copper wire and some kind of metal. New York State. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. <laughs> You're seeing it, so. And you guessed it, it's bottle time. We're just scraping stuff away here. And this one popped out. Little saucer, no design on the front, but it says Meller Co. on the back. So a complete saucer. This nice. thing definitely just popped out. That is neat. That is really neat. It's a octagonal bottle, maybe? What's it say? Underwoods inks. That's a cool little ink bottle right there. I'll take that. I'm just scraping away here. And I got what looks like another Broma Seltzer. A big one. I don't think I've found one this big before. Here. Bromo Seltzer. Bromo Seltzer is the thing the trees are talking behind me. Look at how warped the top of that is. Definitely a keeper. All right. We're down this clay layer here, and um, this is, seems to be where the oldest stuff has been. I've definitely got a little embossed bottle right here. I think I can pop it out. Looks like a flavoring bottle. Uh, SM Sargent, Worcester, Mass. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that, but I'm also a newbie at this. <laughs> These might just be broken fragments, but this appears to be a straight up and down bottle. Look how deep that went in there. This is another uh, Sargent bottle from Worcester, Mass. Here's a nice looking aqua thing here. I can tell you it is embossed, and I definitely haven't found this one yet. So let's get some of this clay out of here. It's very short. Maybe a Hutchinson bottle. Oh, it's moving. It is. It's a Hutch. It's probably the oldest bottle I've found here, I guess. Really good shape. So I just knocked away a clump from up there. Look at this little yellow marble came out. Solid yellow in color. Don't know the vintage on marbles. I need to learn more about these things. <laughs> This thing just fell out and it looks like it was super cool. How sad that is. It says Army Bomber on it, but it's broken. We'll save that fragment because that's wicked neat. 
I wonder what that would have been for. So we've got a couple bottles here. This one down here is actually stuck under a steel cable, so we'll try and get that in a minute. But this one I think right here is ready to come out. I found a bunch of these. These are kind of just like a really short-necked beer bottle. I don't know. You tell me if you know anything about it. They're interesting. I don't. You don't see that style today anyway, right? Let's see if we can't. Here we go. Let's uh, give her a wipe. Full ha full half pint. Heel Broner or Heel Broner. Yeah, Heel Broner & Co. Wholesale liquor dealer, Schenectady, New York. Neat. Good shape. No chips or nicks. This thing just fell out. I don't think it's terribly old. There's no marks on the bottom, but I'm not even sure if you could see this. But if I found the sunlight, gosh, I'll have to show it to you at home. This thing is like dark, dark, dark purple. This is this is particularly funny for me. It's a rubber duck. Me and my girlfriend have this war going on where we hide rubber ducks on each other. And uh, to find one here under the ground, uh, she's going to get a good laugh out of this. All right, right here. Oh, I got another one. This one might only be embossed on the one side, I think. It is. Richard Hudnut, New York. All right. You know, I really can't believe this, but I'm pretty sure that we have a different variety of plastic duck here. We do. <laughs> I mean, it's in two pieces, but just for laughs, I think I'm gonna glue that back together. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is, yeah, it is, look at that. Well, another little uh, little squirt gun out of here. Get it out of the light. Kind of neat scroll work on it. Muzzle compensator. It's so right in the depths of here. This one came out. It's a Sloan's Lintiment bottle, Boston. Nice. This little guy right here. What do we got? John H. Stock, Schenectady. A small bottle size. Nah, I'm, I'm feeling it. We're getting in some older stuff again. Now this is just getting ridiculous, or should I say ridiculous? All right, this one, Oop, it's full of water, but it is definitely embossed. This is a fancy neck too. Let's see what it says here. Oh man, purity above all. Salzman, M. Salzman Company, maybe? <laughs> Man, you think I, you know, I should know some cursive, but it's been so long since I've used it, like fourth grade. This amalgamation here is super interesting. It's like liquefied tar that solidified. See all this? It captured it all, right? But one thing I find particularly interesting about this, it almost looks like melted tire, is that we've got a lead soldier in here. Look at that came right out it was trapped in here like this so we've got ourselves what looks like a little lead gunner blown in a mold that's cool i just pulled this thing out and it's like brass it's like a brass plate how cool is that kind of like some chinese or japanese well maybe that's just the cracking i'm not sure there's just some kind of pattern on there huh so down here, there's a couple bottles, one here and one here, and uh, I think whatever they are, we're gonna call it the last couple finds. So let's get them out. There's the one. Uh, oh yeah, there's this something on this one. Uh, Springfield Brewing. So there's the one. Uh, Here's the other one, another Springfield Brewing. So we'll have to end the day with a beer. All right, gang, as you can see, we found a lot of bottles this week. I mean, look at all these things. There's a lot of these you didn't see in the video because I, uh, I didn't film all week, but I dug all week. So definitely a couple of my favorite bottles is this Underwoods Ink. I knock stuff over. Beautiful octagonal bottle. Stand this one back up. I also really love this Hutchinson bottle, the Schenectady Hutchinson bottle. You can see it's got this really cool bird on the back. So happy to have that. As for the other finds, uh, this thing right here is the wind-up mechanism for a toy train, which I found in the episode Return Detecting. So if you haven't seen that, go watch that. But this was a totally different property, but apparently they had one as well. 
couple spoons, a tailor's thimble, you can see that right here. This thing, I think, used to come in a pack of needles, or two lead soldiers. This fell out of the dirt. This is really interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to pick this up or not, but there's some kind of magnifying glass device. Look what happens when I put it over this dime. It, like, three-dimensionalizes the dime. Really neat. Uh, buttons. Man, that metal. Whew. That was a doozy. 1897. And I got ducked numerous times. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this week. Next week, we're going to finish out this bottle site. So tune back in if you like that. But I'm also going to go somewhere else detecting. I'm not exactly sure where yet, but it'll be a surprise for both of us. So I hope to see you then. Have a great day.